The ABC 7 News I team has learned congressional leaders are scheduled to meet with representatives of the investment firm that's acquired land surrounding Travis Air Force Base. Federal investigators say despite years of probing, little was known as to what Flannery Associates planned to do with the land and why. Yeah, I team reporter Stephanie Sierra has been tracking this story very closely. She's here with a preview of what we can expect from this big meeting. Yeah, another big development, Dan and Ama. Sources familiar with the matter have told the I team the investment firm wants to create a utopian city. Flannery has now hired a Sacramento-based consulting group that has contacted both Congressman Mike Thompson and Congressman John Garamendi to schedule these meetings. We're told this will be the first time congressional leaders from the Bay Area will be briefed by the firm since national security concerns were raised years ago. Sources tell the I-Team Flannery Associates has purchased more than 55,000 acres of dry farmland in Solano County, nearly double the size of San Francisco, in hopes to build a new utopian city. Sources familiar with the matter told the I-Team those behind the purchases are the heavyweights of Silicon Valley. Some of those on the list include billionaire venture capitalist Michael Moritz, the widow of Apple co-founder Steve Jobs, billionaire businesswoman Laureen Powell Jobs, LinkedIn co-founder Reed Hoffman and Patrick and John Collison, the sibling co-founders of San Francisco-based payment technology company Stripe, were told the effort is spearheaded by Jan Schrammack, a former Goldman Sachs trader. And according to his LinkedIn profile, he lives in Fairfield. A source close to the network of investors says the project is focused on affordable housing. Brian Brokaw, a representative for the investment group, said, We care deeply about the future of Solano County and California and believe their best days are ahead. We are proud to partner on a project that aims to deliver access to good paying jobs, affordable housing, clean energy, sustainable infrastructure, open space, and a healthy environment to residents of Solano County. But local officials are skeptical, citing the lack of infrastructure. I don't know that it's realistic what they're, what they're talking about at all. It makes zero sense. There's no mass transit. There's no water for that. Catherine Moy is the mayor of Fairfield. Ronald Codd is the mayor of neighboring town Rio Vista. They say a survey was sent out to Solano County residents last week, hinting towards plans of a new big city, creating thousands of jobs. I don't see how this is a long-term investment unless you want to lose money. It's, it's so overwhelming. It just, it's just hard to figure out how how something like this would happen. This is all an unincorporated area. So for them to start something like this, they would have to get permission to form a city or they would have to somehow do a city charter, elect officials, that whole thing. They'd also have to, I think, work with the, the county of Solano, the various water agencies, the LAFCO agencies to get permission to develop. The I-team sat down with Solano County Administrator Bill Emlett. To your knowledge, has Flannery pulled any new permits to signal any new development or change of land use? N not to date. We have not seen anything like that. Same story with both mayors. Not at all. Nothing. Nothing at all. So as you can see, certainly a lot of work ahead and big questions as to why these plans took so long to be revealed. In fact, I just talked with Congressman John Garamendi. Here's what he had to say about that. They, they have poisoned the well in Solano County. It's five years they've never talked to any of the elected officials, not the supervisors, not the mayor, not the councilman, not the congressman. Nobody kept it a total secret. Uh, and, uh, and now they want to build a, a massive city in an area where you're going, I don't know, guys. Like, did anybody drive out there to see what they were buying? I don't know. But I do know that I'm concerned about where they're headed and what it might mean to the security of Travis Air Force Base. Now, a representative of Flannery says the firm is excited to start working with residents, elected officials, and Travis Air Force Base. And we're told Jan Schrammick, the brains right, behind all right. this, is expected to be present at those meetings. People hmm. want to hear from him for yeah. sure. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Stephanie. Yes.